What is going on everybody? It is Mark Mac Attack. Welcome back to the channel. And uh, today we're going to be starting a new series here. Uh, we're going to be starting the NASCAR Heat 5 Next Gen Career Mode. Uh, so, th so this is something I've been kind of hinting at. Uh, if you've been watching the previous races uh, with my other series here uh, on NASCAR Heat 5 with the NASCAR Heat 5 Next Gen Championship Mode. I've been hinting at starting a uh, new series and this is that series so we're going to start a career mode uh, with the next gen cars it's the 2022 cars uh, I'm on PS4 I know there are other people like who are on PC can get the next gen mod which have the 2023 cars but with me obviously being on a PS4 I don't have access to that so uh, the 2022 cars are A-OK -okay with me so uh, I already made my driver and all that I kind of skipped through that part and what we are on right now is we are going to choose a team that we are going to sign with. Uh, so we got three options. We got Spire Motorsports, and you got the three drivers down there, which we could choose from if we decide to pick that team. Uh, they are a three-star team with 46,000 payout per race, and the car make is Chevrolet. And you got Rick uh, Rick Ware Racing, which is a two-star ride. Again, same payout per race at 46,000, and their car make is Ford. And you got uh, uh, BM or MBM, excuse me, Motorsports uh, with JJ Ailey and Timmy Hill. That is also a two-car ride or two-star ride with uh, forty-six thousand. Again, same uh, payout per race, and their car make is Ford as well. Um, I think my mind's going to be pretty easily set since it's the same payout for all of them. We'll go with the three-star ride here with Spire Motorsports. And now we got to pick a driver who we are going to replace. Either Josh Blicky, Corey LaJoy, or Landon Castle. I think I like this car a lot. I think we're going to replace uh, Josh Blicky. We're going to take his ride in the 77 car. Go ahead and go through that. Let's see. Okay, here's our agent, Warren Vigus. Great, I'll get everything set up and let you know when I'm all in place. Okay. We're all good to go. I think we have the makings of a great season. All right. Sounds good. Okay, let's see this as well. You got uh, incentive contracts. Your sponsors will provide you with opportunities to earn money through incentive contracts. If you successfully complete the requirements of the contracts, you will receive the specified uh, uh, payment. Okay, good to know. All right. You just have to co incentive contacts. You are offered to improve as your standings improve. Okay. Okay, so we have three incentive contracts. It looks like an easy, normal, and a challenging. And it shows the tracks up above. So we got to complete these within the first four races Daytona, uh, Las Vegas, Auto Club, and Phoenix. So we got an easy one where we got to do two top 35s within four races, a normal, which is uh, three top 25s within four races. And a challenging one with just uh, four top 25s within four races. Uh, so yeah, again, you got easy and normal and challenging. I think we're going to go with the normal, kind of the medium in a way. We'll do three top 25s within four races, which is going to be a challenge because this is a, a underfunded team, a very small team. So uh, we'll give ourselves a little challenge there. Um, let's see here. So... Let's go to our settings here really quick. Uh, so you can see kind of what everything is. Uh, we're going to be running on hard difficulty for at least the plate tracks. Uh, I could go up to Legend. Legend is the hardest you can go up to. But I think for the restrictor plates, we're going to go on hard. Just for the fact that I think if I put it on Legend, I won't be able to keep in the draft. So... We'll keep it on hard for the restrictor place at least, and then I think for the other tracks, you know, the regular ovals and the road courses and everything, we'll change it back to legend. But at least for the restrictor place, Daytona and Talladega, we're going to keep it on hard just so we can at least uh, keep in the draft. Uh, we got full damage, 25% uh, race length, times for tire wear and fuel, relaxed cautions, and stages are on as well. So those are the settings that we are going to be running. And, uh... I believe we got everything set up to go. Another uh, thing that kind of bums me out, though, uh, when they did this next-gen update, uh, they took out some of the tracks that they don't run at anymore, like Chicagoland and Kentucky, and there's a couple others as well. 
Uh, so instead of there being a full 36 race length season, it's only 33. So, I, and I can't change it. I can't make my own custom schedule, which is a bummer. So there are three less races, but hey, just something we got to deal with. It's okay with I'm not uh, going to worry about it too much, but uh, just keep that in mind. So we are running a f there's a few less races because again, they took out some of the cars with the next gen updates. So. Uh, we got a 33 race uh, link schedule, and yeah, I think I went through everything. And also, before we go uh, into the, today's video, I need you guys please hit that little subscribe button. Make sure to leave a like on today's video if you enjoyed today's content, and leave a comment down below of what you thought of today's uh, video. So, appreciate all the support from everybody, and we are going to go to the event, the Daytona 500. Oh. Uh, I'm not going to practice, but I am going to qualify for it, uh, just to see kind of where we are, and then, of course, we'll go right into the race right after, so. Here's we load up here. Again, just gonna skip practice. And then we're gonna go right into qualifying. Pull speed is a 45.5. I do remember the AI cars run like ridiculous times here in qualifying, so we'll we'll probably be dead last more than likely, I'm guessing, just because we probably don't have the the car uh, on straight line speed without the draft, so. I don't expect us to uh, really compete at all. We'll probably be more than likely dead last, so not gonna put too much into this. Just gonna go run qualifying real quick here. At, at the other tracks, I think we will we'll have a better chance of qualifying decent. But, uh, at least Daytona, we won't we won't be very competitive at least in qualifying. But hopefully, we'll be good here for the race. Uh, once we get into that draft, so. We're just come off turn three and four, gonna come around to the trial bowl, gonna start lap one here, qualifying. Maybe two laps here. And we'll see what we can do. Yeah, we're only 176 going into turn one on lap one, so. We are definitely way off the pace in terms of uh, overall speed, so definitely going to need to stay up uh, in that draft pick at all costs here, so. We work our way down the back stretch and into turn three and four. Again, I'm only hitting 177, so. Uh, we're probably more than, if we're not, we're going to be at the back if not dead last, so. Come through the trial, well, yeah, we're way off of okay, 51.4, so. Uh, the pull's at 45.8 somehow, so. Uh, yeah, we, we should be definitely dead last. Uh, but, hey, not a big deal. Uh, make sure while I'm kind of uh, finishing up this qualifying here, make sure you guys check out that other series as well that I'm running here on NASCAR Heat 5 uh, with, with the championship mode. Uh, had a lot of fun with that, and uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying that too. Make sure you guys go uh, check that out as well. Uh, so we got two series going on right now. I'm, gonna go, I'm still going to be go, uh, running that series as well in the championship mode. And, uh, of course, we'll be running this now, this new series with the NASCAR Heat 5 career mode, so. Uh, just completed qualifying, we were P last, uh, P40, uh, so. Uh, not shocked there at all. I don't know what I figured. Looks like, uh, Joey Logano and Ryan Blaney are gonna make up the front row, uh, for the Daytona 500. And we will be starting P38 with probably a couple, of, uh, failures, so. 
Uh, we're going to start in P38 in the Daytona 500 with a race goal of 25th. So that is our goal. Uh, we need to make sure we finish inside the top 25. Again, first three out of four races to get that bonus incentive that we signed. So let's see the stories of the race. Of course, Joey Logano won the pole. And Kyle Busch failed technical inspection. And Chase Elliott uh, had an unapproved body modification during qualifying. So both of them are going to be starting in the back, and both are really good cars. So let's see them work their way through the front. So we have the Geico restart zone. Green flag is out, and we are underway here at Daytona in the NASCAR Heat 5 Next Gen Career Mode. So we've got 15 laps here in stage number one. Uh, got 11 laps of fuel, so we will have to make a pit stop here at some point in stage one, but we're not going to worry about that right now. As we head up through the gears for turns one and two. So we get down to this inside once Chase or uh, Kyle Busch gets past us here, and we will do so. All right, we got the main focus to stay in the strap here. Another thing you want to really stay to the bottom too, because the outside likes to check up a lot. So we want to stay to this bottom and hug it as much as we can. Here's we work our way off the three and four for the first time. We're going to sneak inside of Kyle Busch here. We are running P37. Still well intact with this lead pack draft, so all good there. We're running over 200 mile per hour going into turn number one. Keep working the inside and making some passes. Inside kind of check up a little bit. Got Chase Elliott giving us a huge push down the back stretch here. See if we can stay to this inside here. And we are making some moves. We're actually pretty competitive here once we get in the draft. Up to P30. And a huge push from Chase Elliott, which is really helping us along here. Up to P28 here. Uh, working lap 2 of 15 here in stage number 1. And yeah, we are moving along here. Let's see if we can. I uh, thought about going inside, but no, it was four wide. Thought better of it. Back down to two wide here as we continue to uh, get through uh, much of this pack here. Moving along here pretty good up to P26. But we got to stay in this draft here. We got to get as much draft as we can because we are not the fastest car by any means. And if we lose a little bit of the draft there, that could really hurt us. So we really stay in the draft at all times here. Working lap three of 15 here in stage number one. Come through the trial where we're sitting P28 here. Uh, I really don't have anywhere to go so far. 12 laps remaining here in stage number one. Ooh, a huge checkup. Something happened. I don't know what that was. But a huge checkup. We need a push here from Chase Elliott here. See if we can stay behind Eric Almarola here. Got to keep the strap going. Give me a push, Wayne. Had to kind of leave Chase Elliott here, but we got to stay in the strap, so uh, at all costs. So still sitting P25 here. I don't like how these guys are running on the high side, but I got to go where they go. We fall Eric Almorola back down to the bottom here. Still getting a good push from Ryan Blaney. We are up to P24. As we work through the trial over here. 11 laps remaining here. Stage number one at Daytona. Oh, got a uh, blown engine 42 of uh, Ty Dillon. Uh, it's blown a motor, and that's going to check up a lot of that fuel. And hopefully it uh, doesn't bring out a caution as well. All right. I'm going to keep moving along. I'm trying to kind of keep my eye on back there, but bad on here. So we are moving along. We're up to P18, which is really a shocker. Uh, I didn't expect this to be this competitive, but... Uh, we are not doing half bad. This is, and this is one of the tracks here. These plate tracks are really the tracks where we have the best shot to win here. And the underfunded team here was Fire Motorsports 77 car. We are moving along. We are up to P11. We got 10 laps remaining here in stage number one here at Daytona. And we have cracked inside the top 10. Wow. Did not expect that, but hey, we will take it.
Sitting P5 here. Looks like we got uh, Blaney peeking to our outside. We need to get some help here, and we get some with a push of uh, Austin Dillon in the three car Bass Pro Shop Chevrolet. And we'll take that. Let's get back down to the bottom here. <coughs> Excuse me, and uh, still battling for fifth. Ryan Blaney here. Got Christopher Bell leading. He's kind of blocking both lanes. Doing a good job. I uh, got nine laps remaining here in stage number one, and we have five laps of fuel. Outside, outside. So pit stops will be approaching here within the next couple laps. Uh, I got a pretty Halo, decent Halo. pack still going here. That, uh, that blown engine to Ty Dillon did separate some of the packs. So you got a few stragglers back there that lost the draft because uh, they had to outside, check up with outside. that blown engine. but. Uh, Got most of the lead pack still on tack, which is good, so still some good racing going on. Looks like we got Timmy Hill making a pass for, uh, for the lead here. Uh, just passed Christopher Bell, so he is to the point. They're giving Shrex a good push here. Uh, let's see if we can follow Shrex to the outside here. Got eight laps remaining. Stage number one. We are moving. Ooh, out in the wall a little bit, made some slight contact with it. Gotta go high now. See, let these guys go here. Too big of a push. Sorry, we should still stay with the lead pack here. Alright. We got outside. Chase Briscoe, got a huge run on the outside. He's getting a pack of a push from Morgano and Blaney, those Penske car duo. They're looking to uh, get a huge run and possibly go for the lead here. We've got seven laps remaining here at stage number one at Daytona. And we are sitting P7, which is really quite remarkable. We have a chance to get some stage points here. Uh, but again, we do have green flag pit stop fastly approaching. Uh, someone, I think, blew a motor. Is it Legano blew a motor? I made some slight contact with him, but the caution has come out for another uh, blown engine here in stage one, and that'll take uh, green flag pit stops out of the equation. So we're going to go ahead and pit, take four tires and fuel. And we are going to be restarting P4 here on the restart. Uh, I do believe it was Joey Legano that blew up, it looks like, so... That is going to roughly end his day, it looks like, I believe. Well, unless he had the blown tire, I could be wrong. Though. But uh, we are here on the restart. We are back underway at Daytona. Uh, we got four laps remaining here in stage number one. And, hey, we have a chance to possibly even get a stage win here, which is really incredible. Uh, the car is really slow getting through the gears here, especially when we don't have help. So we are going to fall back a little bit here through the gears here on the back stretch. Uh, we have fallen back to 11th after, uh, excuse me, after restart fourth, so. And now that we're up to speed, we should be okay. Should still be able to get at least a top 10, maybe even a top five. Uh, we gotta keep with this lead draft and we are kind of losing. I'm fully aware it's running the high side for some reason. Oh man, we gotta keep with this lead pack here again. You can just tell how we're, we're down on horsepower and it's hard for us to suck up to these guys and keep up. I'm going to sacrifice and lose a couple spots here. Hope we can get down to this inside here. Uh, no, not yet. Need one more car. Let's get down here. Yeah, we just don't have the help here, unfortunately. Uh, that caution kind of hurt us, but... Uh, Barely hanging on. I don't know if we're going to be able to hang on to these guys for that. We've got to be like right on them to get really the full effects of the draft. We're struggling to do so. We're not getting a push from anybody, which doesn't help either. And you've got the 51 of Cody Ware a little bit. We're hard to catch him. Well, we got two laps remaining here at stage number one. Uh, doesn't look like we're going to get stage points, unfortunately. Uh, just the car does not take off when it starts, so. Ooh. And we kind of got shuffled there. Two of us, the server decided to shove his nose in there and get past us, but no harm here. Uh, coming to the white flag this time by. 
Oh, looks like we got Christopher Rommel leading. Yeah, we just cannot go. As we're just a stall here, so. Unfortunate, but nothing we can really do. And they're just passing us left and right, man. We are so. <laughs> we are down in horsepower, and this is much what I expected. Uh, you can just tell how much we are down on horsepower on the straight away, so. I mean, I'm, I'm in the draft, and I'm only running 190, so. You can tell the, uh, the effects of a small team here, so. Uh, it's okay, though. Just keep going here. Uh, we're working the white flag lap. Looks like Chris Rebelt is still leading. We work our way down the back stretch. We have caught this pack, actually, though. So everybody's back intact together. I feel like if we had a little bit more time, maybe we could have made some hay, but we got back up there. But not to be here as we come off of three and four. For the final time, we're still getting past. Uh, looks like we're going to finish probably P30. Yep. All right. So at the end of stage one, we finished P30. I believe Christopher Bell did get to stage one. Let me go check here. No, actually, it was not. It was Kaz Grala in the 50 car. I got the stage win. Looks like Kurt Busch was second, Ryan Blaney third, Martin Trick Jr. fourth, Greg Biffle fifth, uh, Chris Rebell sixth, Eric Almirola seventh, JJ JJ Yaley eighth, uh, Denny Hamlin ninth, and Chris Busch rounds out the top ten. After stage number one, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna try a little strategy game, get back up there, and take two right sides and fill our uh, our Chevrolet Camaro up with fuel, get a little bit of track position. And it's somewhat working. We made a 14 spots. We'll be restarting P16. Here as we start stage number two. Green flag is underway. Let's see what we can do here. Got to be able to keep up with these guys somehow. Uh, got 13 laps of stage two. Only 11 laps of fuel. So again, we will have to make a pit stop at some point. And we work our way through the gears. We were able to keep up with these guys a little hot better this restart. I don't know why, but we were able to keep up with them. So uh, we're kind of trapped in the middle here. Let's see what we, if we can get down to this bottom here. We got to get past Bowman, but I don't think it's going to happen. And have to stay up here in the second lane here. We work our way through three and four. Someone is checking up. What's going on? We gotta get down to this bottom now. And we're getting freight trained here by the bottom lane here, going losing spots left and right here. And as you can see, once you get to the outside, man, this is tough. Come on, we let Suarez go here. Fell back to P25 here, but at least we are on the bottom lane. I think I gotta just stop checking up because when I check up, we lose too much time. I'm trying not to run in the back of people and get them loose and screw them out, but I might just have to keep it floor because once I lift, they just, like, are a rocket ship and pull away. Come on, Legato, I need a push from you, not you going up high, but okay. Uh, looks like the 23 above the wall, this is going to be our draft partner, though. going to give us a good push here. We need desperately. Look at the run we get here. Push from the 23 above the wall. we caught back to the steep pack here. I got 11 laps to go. Ooh, here's stage number two. A little contact. So we can get underneath uh, Suarez and we will. Alright, so that two tire call I think paid off for us because we would have been starting way back there. And I don't know if we would have been able to keep up with these guys. But so far, so good. Up to P14. Looks like Ryan Blaney is currently leading. Yeah, we're gonna keep this bottom here. We're working our way forward. We're up to P12. So, kind of getting our way back up there like we were before. We're just gonna keep this track position. It's the biggest thing. Let's see, we got 10 laps remaining here. Stage number two. Looks uh, like Michael McDowell's leading. Still sitting 12th here, kind of stuck on this inside. No one, no lane is really trying trying to go here. It's all kind of strung out here. Uh, three wide though, so <clears throat> Let's see if one lane can prevail over the other here soon. 
still there. We're gonna stick to the game plan of running to the bottom. Oh, Inside. I got a push from Bubba Wallace, and it's like got me super loose and sent me up the track. So, anyway, I'm get back now. down here down to the bottom here. Oh, the 21 of Harrison Burton just spun out. Looks like he blew a tire. That was weird. He spun <laughs> off of the trial. Well, that was weird, but. Looks like you lost the tire, I would assume. But we're only five laps in. That was weird. Uh, no caution, so we keep going. Uh, sitting P15 here. Ooh, get back to this bottom here. We just need help from behind. We can get help like like we were getting from Bubble Walls. As, well, as long as we're not getting pushed too hard, in the corners were okay. But if we don't get like a push. We kind of struggle to keep up, so we get a push from Blaney here. Uh, I was trying to swing down to the bottom and I made the move too late. Got an awesome center a little bit, but we keep going. No damage, so we're okay. Now looks like Bowman, I believe, in the 48 is leading. Yes, he is, okay. We're up to P6, so still doing really good. Uh, just glad we're at least somewhat competitive here. And I, I think if a caution didn't come out in stage one, uh, we had a chance to win that stage. But didn't uh, uh, unfold the way we had hoped, but hey, that was okay, it's racing. Uh, here's a work our way through the trial. Well, Alex Bowman is still leading, blocking both lanes. He's kind of stalling everybody out. Uh, we got seven laps to go here in stage one. Let's see if we can make a move to the inside of Cole Custer. We will. Alright. So we made a couple passes there. Up to P4. Going to make another pass in the 51 here. We are back up to P3, so... Good job by us. We're actually going to push Briscoe in the 14 to the lead here. Getting a huge push from Harvick in the 4, so... Oh, I wasn't trying to go to the inside. My bad. No. I mean, not my bad, but hey, we are to the lead here. I wasn't trying to pass, I was trying to push, but hey, it works, so. We are to the point here at Daytona. Uh, surprisingly, we're going to lead our first lap here in the NASCAR E5 next year, uh, career mode. We've got six laps remaining here in stage number two. And we're going to try our best to hold on to this lead. I don't know how well we're going to do it, because <laughs> as you can see on the bottom right at the... Uh, Speedometer. We're only running 185 <laughs> here out in front. So these guys are going to get a huge run on the top side. I'm not going to block it because I don't want to give up the bottom. And let some of these guys go here. It's okay. We just can't lead for too long. we got to make our move late because we're, we're too slow trying to lead the field. We don't have the speed to do it. So if we're going to make a move, we got to make it late uh, in the stage or, or for the line. we got to make our move super late. We are pushing Martin Truck Shooter, who is currently in the lead. I uh, got five laps remaining here in stage two with three laps of fuel. Uh, so pits. Oh! Oh, what happened there? My car just went left. That was weird. Okay, I don't know what happened, but my car went left. And now we're going to get freight train because we have lost our speed. We're going to need a push, need a push, need a push. And there's no push to be found. Can you want some more? Can you Nope. Okay. Well, we kind of fell back here. I don't know what happened. My car just went left. <laughs> Going into the, into the turn, like, just, like, turned left hard. I don't know why. Uh, looks like Chase Elliott is uh, coming down pit road. There's a couple cars that are going to fall suit here for me. We are going to continue to stay out. Uh, we're probably going to... Let's go ahead and we're going to pit this time by. We could go one more lap, but I just don't want to stretch it. I want to pit with it. Most of the lead pack, and I think most of them are going to pit this time by as well. So, go ahead and pit this time by. Gonna hug this bottom, of course, because we're going to be pitting, so we don't want to go up the bottom. Get push here, just push here to 17. Get him to the lead. Yeah, I think most of these cars are trying to get down to that bottom. Again, I think a lot of them are going to pit. Ooh, is he, is he smoking? 17 was smoking a little bit. I don't know what was going on there. Oh, work our way down pit road. That was very tight. 55 mile per hour is the uh, pit road speed. Nicely done. Let's take 
Uh, let's take one can. Oh, let's go one can of fuel, excuse me, four tires. And uh, get back out here. Let's see how our uh, pit crew does. Our first green flag pit stop. A 14.9. Wow. I have never... I Maybe I've seen that once, ever. Wow, 14.9 with Spire Motorsports. Holy crap, what are they on? We will gladly take a 14.9 pit stop. I don't know how, but we will take it. All right, dig, dig, dig. And we are out, and you can see how much time we gained just off of that pit stop. Now, the bad part is, is they're going to be in the draft, and they're going to be pushing, and we're going to get freight trained, which is not good. We do not have the speed. Uh, let's see if we can just trying to watch these guys a little bit as we get back up to speed. You can see how much faster they are. <laughs> and they're not even really pushing each other. We're just slow getting up to speed. I'm trying to block a little bit until I get up to speed. We're getting a good push. We have Grawl in the 50 car, so it's good news there. Uh, we're finally starting to get back up to speed. We'll be coming back to two laps to go here in stage one. Interesting to see where the site is out. I think we should be in the lead, I believe, because these guys are just now coming off the pit road, so we will be the leader. Let's recycle here. And there we go, to the point. Again, we got two laps to go here in stage number two. We have a, we have a chance to win, uh, win a stage here, which would be huge for points. Uh, we did not get any points for stage number one. We finished P30, so this would be a really nice stage win. Got Kevin Harvick going to our outside, though. He's got other plans. We're going to block this high line a little bit. Gonna slow the momentum down. Still need a push from the 50 at Cavs for all here. It's not too us, though. Here's to come off the turn of screen four. It'll be the white flag this time by. We've got Kevin Harvick still leading. See if we can time this right and get a good run and see if we can get a stage win. We got Mike Nadell. Oh man, oh man, it's good contact. I mean, contact 34. He kind of just was all squirrely and then we made a little bit of contact. We're still okay. We're still sitting P8. Might have hurt our chances at a stage win, but I don't know. We'll see. Here. Inside, get a huge push. 15 Cavs Brawler here. Hard just keeps sliding up. And as we come off the turn three and four for the final time, Timmy Hill is leading. I just don't have a run. I don't think we're going to catch him. We're going to be battling for second with Kevin Harvick. Who's it going to be? Who's going to be us? We're going to get peace, uh, P number two here at stage two. Uh, but Timmy Hill in the 66 is going to win stage two here at Daytona. Again, we finished second. Uh, Kevin Har Harvick finishes third. Michael McDowell fourth. Kaz Gorala fifth. Chris Buescher sixth. Joey Logano seventh. Greg Biffle eighth. Chase Elliott ninth. And Brad Keselowski rounds out the top ten here after stage number two at Daytona. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead. Let's take, since we just pitted uh, a couple laps ago, let's take right side tires, fill it up with fuel. And, yeah, uh, we're going to get to the lead here. I thought some of those guys might try to pull strategy and take fuel only, but they did not, so that is okay, though. We are to the point here as we start stage number three at Daytona. Green flag is out. And we have 16 laps remaining here in the Daytona 500. Can we get our first win here <laughs> in the first race of the NASCAR Heat 5 Next Gen career mode? That would be something here with Spire Motorsports in the 77 car, which is usually Josh Blicky, but we have replaced them, so. Let's see if we can get Spire Motorsports' first win ever here. That would be something. Here as we work our way down the back stretch, we are still leading. Don't really have any help. I'm just kind of watching Harvick where he goes. And my car just randomly likes to turn left going into the corners. I don't get that, but I'm able to control it, still lead. I'm just watching these guys, just trying to block the runs as best as I can. Uh, Joy Legano had a huge run there. And he was one that I thought was smoking earlier, and I think he must have just blown a tire, so. He's still in the race, and he's going for the lead. Uh, 
And he's getting a huge push from Chase Elliott. Uh, we're not getting any help from from Harvick in the four, which is unfortunate, but we're going to fall back like a rock here. Just got to try and minimize the damage here. Uh, oh, man. Man, we are slow. Let's just let some of these guys go. And they don't want to go, though. And we are in the wall. <laughs> Make contact. This car is very unstable. In turns, I don't get it. And that is really going to hurt us because we are going to lose touch with that lead pack. Oh man. Alright, we got to let these guys go. Come on, we got to let Kyle Busch go. We'll let Briscoe go and 51 go as well. Let's get down here quick. we got to get a push. Come on, give us a push, Hamlin. Gosh, we, need, we just need help from somebody. We just are not getting any help. Everybody just wants to pass us because we're Spire Motorsports and we're under underfunded team, so they're like, nope. Not gonna help, but we just gotta get we just gotta get a draft. Oh man, well we are back to P16. I keep making contact with people because this car is so unstable. You know, with with the default setup, so the wheel lock is way too high on the steering offset, so just trying to manage it as best as I can. Uh, fell back to P18. We just cannot keep up with everybody though, because we are not getting a push from any, any car at all. So we have fallen back to 20th. It really stinks. <laughs> because, again, I think we have a car good enough to compete for the win if, if we can stay in the draft. But we're just not getting help, so. Not much we can do. Well, it looks like Timmy Hill is actually still leading the race, so good job. Okay, and we just got gored for some reason by AJ Allman there. Okay. Everybody's out to get us, I guess. And we are back to P26. We are falling quickly. And again, we got to finish in the top 25 to get our goal. Uh, so this is very crucial here. we got to keep up with some of these guys, but they're just falling away. Oh, man. This race is slipping through our hands here pretty quickly. Again, this is one of the tracks where we have the best shot to win. I made a bold move to block the 45. I had to. It still didn't matter. They still just blow past our doors. We made contact with 21. Harrison Burton. And man, we might be the slowest car here because we are just getting absolutely demolished. And I, I'm just trying to find somebody that'll push us, but we will not get any help, so. Man. How a race can quickly change. We are back to 35th in the blink of an eye. And we just cannot... Okay, we finally got a push partner. Uh, who was that? Was that Haley? Uh, was for a sec, now he doesn't want to push. saw the icon, but come on, we need a push. We need a push. Yes, there we go. Come on, come on. We need a push. I mean, he says he's a draft partner, but he just does not want to help. I don't get that. Even when I try to check up, he doesn't, he still can't catch up. Wow. Oh, brother, we got 10 laps to go here in the race. And we're going to have to make a bold strategy call here, I think. We might have to take no tires or something. Or two right sides or something to get back up there because... Uh, that's going to be our only way. We're just going to keep up with these guys as best as we can. I don't understand why we cannot do the push from these guys, though. Uh, I was trying to get underneath or let Gregson go. Got into him a little bit. Okay. I just got put in the wall by Justin Haley. Uh, for no reason. And he spun out. <laughs> and no caution either. And now we have definitely lost. Oh, man. Oh, brother. Well, we got nine laps to go. And we just got put in the wall by Justin Haley for no reason. Uh, 
Yeah. We gotta go ahead and we gotta pit. We're gonna pit this time by. And we're gonna have to take fuel only. And, uh, see if we have any chance of catching any of these guys. I don't even think it'll help at this point. We're losing way too much time, so. We're just gonna have to go ahead and make a gamble here. Gonna pit. Take four, or uh, take no tires, excuse me. Only gonna take fuel. Not even gonna repair the damage or nothing. We can't lose any time. As we come down pit road here, 55 mile per hour. All right. We gotta take, and we still gotta take a can and a half of fuel. So, no tires. Uh, we're not gonna repair our damage. I'm just gonna take fuel and see where it puts us. Don't think it'll help, but hey, we gotta do whatever we can. And we have a, a, a <laughs> pit crew. This game is glitching. We have either a pit crew or, or my driver is was sticking out of the car. I have never seen that before. Here's we come off a pit road. Oh boy. We have got cars left and right. Oh boy. Well, made contact with the 45, slowed him down. I had no choice, I had to come off a pit road. Here's we work our way through the gears. We are just so slow. Oh man. What could have been. But hey, it's our first career race. Not worried, not too worried about it. Looks like most of them are going to come down pit road this time. But we lost too much time to the draft, so. I don't think that strategy call is going to work at all, so. Got seven laps to go here in the race. Unless the caution comes out, our our race is pretty much done. So, just gonna keep riding around here. Oh man, we got a couple slow cars ahead. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if they're out of fuel. I'm gonna assume. I don't know. Oh boy, we had to squeeze the outside. I thought they were gonna stay down, but they didn't. Man, we are so slow. <laughs> While the caution has come out here at Daytona, I don't know what for. Someone must have spun or blew a tire. And that was unfortunate because those guys were coming down pit road that time, but and we got put a lap down. So we are the first car lap down, though, so we will get the free pass, which is good news. Um, Joey Logano is still leading. We're going to go ahead and pit this time, take four tires, no fuel. And we're going to, be again, be the lucky dog, get the free pass. Uh, we're going to be restarting P36 here. Uh, we kind of caught a break here. Let's see if we can capitalize on it. I don't know if we're going to be able to keep up with them, though. So, just got to go, go, go. Here's we restart at Daytona. It's two laps to go. A green-white checker. Yeah, we are so slow. Oh, my goodness. I doubt we're going to be able to keep up with these guys. Down to the bottom, see if we get past Haley. Shift to the fifth as we work our way through the gears. Looks like Greg Biffle is leading here. With two laps to go, a huge check up on the bottom. And we're going to make up a few spots. Let's see if we can get our goal of uh, 25th position. That would be very nice. And at least salvage a finish here today. We are, we are working our way through the field here slowly but surely. Making some moves here, they're really checking up on the bottom. We are up to P26, only one position away from our goal here. White flag is out and we lost help. Come on, we need help here, let's get to that 25th uh, race goal here. Gonna get a push from the 51, Cody Ware, it's exactly what we need. And we got a huge run here. Off of turn two, down the back stretch for the final time. Looks like Eric Almarola is leading. And we are the P23. We could get our race goal here. We work our way through three and four for the final time. 
Still a huge checkup on the bottom, but we're just keeping our foot in it. Don't care, not lifting. Here as we work our way off of three and four, we are getting freight trained. We gotta get our race goal 25th. See if we can do it, and we will. Oh. All right, it is gonna be a P24 finish for us here today at Daytona. We did get our incentive goal, at least for this race, of a top 25 within the first three or four, within the first three or four races. So there's one down for that. That's what we need for our bonus incentive. Uh, let's check out the points here. It'll be kind of interesting. Uh, Kaz Garla got the race win, wow. And he even got a stage win as well, so. Some good points for Kaz Garla today in that 50 car. Austin Dillon ends up finishing second. Uh, Kevin Harvick finishes third. Denny Ham on fourth. Greg Biffle fifth. Cole Custer sixth. Martin Truex Jr. Uh, is seventh. Eric Almarola eighth. Corey LaJoy ninth. Chris Buescher rounds out the top ten. Uh, after Daytona. We'll check out our race earnings here. Made $380,000, which is pretty nice. Uh, once you include the cut and all that, so we will take that. Let's check out the point standings here after Daytona. Kaz Garla with that win uh, is in the lead. Uh, Kevin Harvick is sitting second. Greg Biffle is third. Uh, let's see, Martin Trek Jr. is fourth. Austin Dillon fifth. Denny Hamlin sixth. Eric Armour was 7th, Chris Buescher 8th, Cole Custer 9th, and Chase Elliott rounds out the top 10. Uh, we are 16th in points after Daytona, which, hey, I will take. I'm not going to complain with that at all, so pretty decent start for us in our first race here in the NASCAR Heat 5 next-gen career mode, so let's go ahead and finish the event. And... Again, since I couldn't customize the schedule, the schedule is going to be a little off. Uh, I know the next race uh, should be Auto Club, but instead it is Las Vegas. So that is going to be the next race uh, in the next in the, this for the series in the NASCAR Heat Five Next Gen Career Mode. As it adds up our money here, okay. Oh, what do we got here? How you drive during a race can affect other people's opinions on you. The more you bump into them, the less likely the less likely they are to like you. Okay. You can also influence a driver's opinion of you by responding to the messages they send you. From Joy Logano with Team Penske. Hi, I'm Mark McAttack. I'm excited to see what you can do this season in the NASCAR Cup Series. All right, we'll be nice this time. We'll give them a compliment. Appreciate it, Mr. Logano. Here's we wrap up race one at Daytona. And uh, next race, race number two. Oh, let's see, actually. Uh, we got new contract options available as well. Driving is attracting the attention of other teams. Some teams are willing to arrange contract options for next season. Would you like to? Okay, yep. We'll view the contracts here. So throughout the season, we'll, we'll get contract options from different teams. And then more of them will become available. And we can kind of look at what we need here. Uh, they got requirements that we have to fulfill in, it, in order to be able to kind of sign with the team as well. So you got 23XI Racing. Uh, and you kind of see on the top right there kind of the requirements that we have to be enabled to possibly sign uh, with them for next season. So you got all these different options. So... That's something we'll be keeping an eye out throughout the season here. But yeah, that was a good race one for us. Next race will be Las Vegas, like I said, in the Pennzoil 467 laps. And that is going to wrap up today's video. Thank you guys for watching it. And again, make sure you guys hit that little subscribe button if you haven't. Make sure to leave a like on today's video if you enjoyed the content as well. And let me know what you thought of uh, the first race here in the career mode uh, with Spire Motorsports in the 77 car. I uh, appreciate all the support from you guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. And uh, we will see you guys in the next video. This is Mark Mac Attack signing off. You guys have a great rest of your day. We'll catch you in the next video.